Hey everybody, Pat Kelly here of Mad River Outfitters. Welcome to another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying the Lake Erie Emerald Shiner. Just a super simple, easy to tie bait fish pattern that we use around here for steelhead, but can be used for anything else. We use it for smallmouth uh, and trout, you name it. Anything that likes to eat a bait fish, this is a fly that will work great. So let's dive on in. We're gonna start out, the hook that we're using is a Daiichi 1530. Uh, I use the number six. It could be tied in a variety of different sizes. Uh, the six is kind of just what we've always settled on and what it was originally tied on for steelhead. So got that locked in the vise. As far as thread, anything black, you know, at least a 140, I think just helps, um, you know, tie the fly a little bit easier if you go a little heavier. Uh, I like to start the thread just kind of right up behind the eye, just leaving just enough room for your thread head. And then what I'll do is I will just work a nice foundation of thread all the way back to the barb of the hook. And then we will come all the way back up to where we started the thread again, just to make sure we have a good foundation of thread there. First thing we're gonna do is lay uh, kind of the sparkle braid material, which is what we're using for a belly. And we're just gonna wrap this around the hook just to give a little bit of flash, a little uh, belly to the fly, just helps it stand out. <clears throat> so go ahead and lock that in. You're going to want to tie this in, just leaving just enough room for a thread head uh, at the end of the pattern. So go ahead and lock that in, and then just nice tight side-by-side -side wraps all the way down. And again, you'll want to bring this all the way back to about the barb of the hook. The reason why I like to start the sparkle braid all the way up here is it just gives us a nice uniform body. It avoids any bumps or steps in the fly, just keeps things smooth. Bring your thread all the way back up. And just begin to wind that forward. About every three or four wraps, I'll just take it and just kind of pull nice and tight. That just ensures that the sparkle braid is locked in and is not loose uh, at any point. Just helps increase the durability of the fly. Once you get about, I'd say about two eye lengths away from the, uh, the end of the hook, go ahead and stop wrapping. Go ahead and bring your thread underneath your sparkle braid just so you can get that tied off. Once that's nice and secure, kind of come in underneath, trim your tag. Make sure that's good and secure. All right, now the first wing is gonna be Arctic Fox in white. Just a really nice, you know, wispy, natural material. Looks great in the water. Don't need very much, maybe uh, I'd say about a half a pencil, give or take. Let's go ahead and trim that off. You wanna kinda of use it at full length. After you trim it off, it's really helpful to just take some sort of a comb and uh, just get all those guard hairs and under fur, excuse me, under fur, not guard hairs, get all that under fur out of there. And then as far as the guard hairs, it's personal preference whether you leave them in. I like to leave them. I think it adds a really nice uh, just taper and, and kind of transparent look to the fly. So get that trim. I like to go at a little bit of an angle like this with my scissors. And what that allows me to do is as I secure this and tie this down, it gives us a nice tapered thread head to the fly. Sometimes that thread will want to jump down off the material. Just take your time with it and build up a nice cone. Right. Looks pretty good. Now, in between the two wings, we're going to lay in just a little bit of flash. I like to use, you can use kind of whatever you want, anything silver, pearl, uh, whatever you like. I like the flat, the rainbow color from Flashaboo. Uh, it's just a nice multicolored, just real fishy. Anytime I'm tying a bait fish, I like to use this rainbow flash. It just looks good on everything. So I'll double that flash boo around the thread, bring it all the way up to the top of the hook shank, and begin to wrap that backwards towards the wing right before you get all the way to the, uh, to the Arctic Fox. Just take your thumbnail and kind of just spread that around evenly so that it's just kind of veiling and covering all the fox. That way you can kind of see it on either side of the fly when you're fishing it. And I'll come back, just trim that maybe just a quarter of an inch beyond the actual wing itself, just so it sticks out just a little bit. 
can wet your fingers. Just kind of help tame that flash boo so it's not flailing around all over the place. All right, next is going to be our overwing, which is going to be olive thin raccoon. You can use a little less of this um, as compared to the Arctic Fox. This is really just a, a topper, just bring some contrast to the fly. And again, just like we did with the Arctic Fox, come in and with a comb and just get all that under fur ripped out of there. All right, that looks good. Again, make sure you trim at an angle. Keep things neat and tidy as you're finishing the fly. Just kind of a loose trapping wrap and then nice and tight, work your way down. to the eye and then back up. Sometimes you need to go back and forth just a couple of times just to make sure you got everything covered nice and evenly. And then a lot of times once I get that tied in, I'll just take my comb and just come through the pattern, just helps kind of blend everything together. Now this last step, totally optional. I think it just adds a little contrast to the fly. <clears throat> Most of your bait fish patterns have just a slightly darker back, so I take a little bit of this barred predator wrap and just lay it right on top like that. Trim that. What I like to do is I'll tie it in backwards or in reverse. And these synthetics are really, really slick. So if you tie them in backwards and then fold them back over themselves like this, it will ensure that they don't ever pull out. All right, once that's locked in, again, you can kind of go through and rip at it with your comb. Looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and whip finish. If you want to, you can coat it with a little UV or Z-Mint, whatever you like. But that's it, just a super simple bait fish pattern. This is the Lake Erie Emerald Shiner. Um, let us know what you think down in the comments. If you want to see more like this, appreciate you watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. You can get the materials at madriveroutfitters.com. There will be a list uh, down below that will link to the website. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks for watching.